Thursday, October 28th, 2021, and welcome to the Capital Allocation Channel. Today, I want to give you all an update on Bitcoin, Monero, Pirate Chain, Darrow, and Ghost by John McAfee. Also, I want to show you one way to buy Monero completely anonymously. Thank you all for watching. Let's get right to it. All right, let's start with Bitcoin. So, Bitcoin sitting at 61,600. It's making this bull flag pattern. So, we got a little co consolidation. Oftentimes, these patterns break to the upside, but it's not guaranteed. So, we are still above this 20 EMA. As long as we can stay above this 20 EMA, I think we're okay. We've still got a buy on the trading view technical indicator. If we drop below about 58, though, if we drop below this EMA or this low here on these candles, uh, I would expect we're going lower. And this could also depend on what we see in the news, if they're pushing more stimulus, uh, more spending bills. So uh, this definitely depends on the economics. Um, We'll have to watch what's going on in China. Uh, personally, uh, I think we could go lower from here from what we're seeing in the economy with all the mandates, uh, with everything that's going on in China. Uh, so personally, uh, I think we could go lower, but anything could happen and definitely watch the chart if you see it go below 58. Uh, be careful here, and if you see it break out above this channel, um, that could be an indicator of strength. For Monero, so as I mentioned, I had trimmed my position uh, down here. I thought we were going lower. Uh, we had a fake break, collapse back down. I think we're going to consolidate back into this triangle. Here we're in a neutral position on the technical indicator. And so I think we could consolidate back here, and then finally we could see which way this tends to break. Uh, so personally, I'm holding a core position in Monero and will not put on a larger speculative position until I see a clear break with volume uh, to the upside. Until I see that, I'm just holding my core position. If it goes lower, I do not care. I'm happy for it to go lower uh, because I'm thinking in a uh, more of a decades long time frame and not necessarily the next few weeks or months. Um, Pirate Chain. So I'm sure many people are disappointed with Pirate Chain. I am as well. I thought we were going to hold uh, that $2 level at least. We've broken below that. Uh, I think there's no sign of this reversing. We've got a sell on the technical indicator. Uh, I personally think you're crazy to sell Pirate under two, uh, but seems like people are doing it. So again, I'm holding just a core position here. I wouldn't personally enter a larger speculative position until I see more volume and I see a clear reversal with um, something like coming up and making a uh, higher low and then continuing upwards, then I would consider putting on a larger position. But I'm personally trying to use Pirate Chain more. Uh, there's a great website, R Mada A R R R. MADA.com, where you can actually exchange using Pirate Chain. And if you have a business, you can advertise on that website. Um, so I'm thinking again more long term with this one and trying to actually use it and get rid of the dirty fiat wherever possible. Darrow. So currently, this is playing out uh, exactly as I had anticipated. I thought we'd have a head and shoulders here. So we have a left shoulder, the head, and this right shoulder came up and perfectly tagged uh, this uh, resistance level that I had marked out. Again, anything could happen, but now we're um, 
below this 20 EMA, we've already um, attempted to break past um, this resistance level here and been rejected. So we'll see what happens, but uh, my highest probability play would be that um, this has hit resistance. We're confirming the head and shoulders and uh, we could go lower from here. Uh, another coin I'm putting on my watch list is Ghost. So this was created uh, by one of my heroes, John McAfee. Uh, and this is another privacy coin. It's This is a proof of stake coin. Uh, you can get it on Trade Ogre. You can get it on any of these exchanges. Um, so the good thing about this is you can stake your coins and earn rewards. Uh, so the roadmap has a few things in progress. Um, On-chain governance. Hardware wallet. That would be really import important. Ghost stable coins. That would be super, super cool to have a private stable coin. Wrapped ghost on Ethereum. So again, these are all planned. Uh, we've seen that wrapped pirate chain is also um, essentially in progress right now. So those are some exciting projects. And I think we will have to wait and see. Neither of them are live yet, but this is giving us more of an idea of what we can expect in the future with developments in the blockchain space. So again, I think I like to play it for the long term and build these systems. And as we build them, as we gain the network effect and as we use them rather than speculating, I guess, you know, some people got rich on Shiba Inu. I mean, but I think they can't do that twice in a row. So personally, I don't try and play that, but it's good for them. Uh, but I prefer to build systems and play for the long term. So the thing I like about Ghost is the market cap. So we got a just a $6 million market cap. So this thing could really move if it got momentum. Um, but I think it's underrated. People aren't really paying attention to it. And with all of these, it's really about getting the word out and getting more people to use them and put money into them. That's, that's how you make these things gain value. And so it's really up to our community uh, to spread the word for these things. But this is, again, on my watch list. I'm planning on uh, downloading the wallet soon, buying some, and watching this chart here. It doesn't look horrible. Um, but I want to see some confirmed up moves before I take a larger position here. But just trying to see how it works and understand all the features. Another resource I came by is local uh, Monero. I can't personally vouch for this website. Um, I've heard there could be some scams here, but you do have um, rankings. And essentially, this is a way that you can get Monero privately rather than having to enter your name in, a, in an exchange somewhere. You can just send people money and they'll trade you Monero. So again, uh, be careful if you do use this and try to get somebody with the high ranking. Uh, but this is just one option I came across and I thought I'd share it with you guys. So hope everyone's having a great day. Take care, everyone, and I will see you in the next one.